Back in 2019, I bought the original Ender 3 3D printer. And it quickly became the printer I used for work. My work at school to help with student projects. Years later, Black Friday, 2024, I bought myself another Ender 3 printer. And this one I really wanted to use for my own projects. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here is one of those projects. I need to organize my stuff. Now, I've been using the Scatis pegboard from Ikea, and it's worked pretty good. So Ikea designed some, you know, general purpose types of cups and hooks, cables and stuff like that that I can use, but I need something a little more specialized for the gear that I would like to put onto these boards. Like this, digital caliper, multimeter, even weird stuff like this. Can I take these items and mount them to this. Now I've just mounted the new Scatis board and I've just got it mounted below the other two previous boards that I have there. I'm gonna to start to design and print up some of these little add-ons and brackets and try to get this organized. Okay, here we are in Tinkercad. I am working on these hooks that will allow me to connect things to the Scatis pegboard. So these are the ones that will go into those small little slots in the board. And if it works, basically I can come back and attach anything I want to these hooks and I can start attaching stuff to the board. So I can start creating like little holders, uh, the small pieces of the hooks for the different pieces of equipment that I wanna have on the board. It all hinges on this. I am going to print one of these just to make sure it fits. And uh, if it does, I will be back and I will start crafting some of these holders. And I got this. Just the basic hook piece that will interface with the pegboard. And it fits. That's it. So now that I know that this fits, this opens up a whole bunch of possibilities. Now, if you would like to build off of these hooks as well, I've included the links down below in the description. If you're looking to create your own projects, your own designs, your own 3D objects to print on your 3D printer, I strongly suggest that you try out Tinkercad. It is a free platform. It is web-based. So you can do it on your browser. It is relatively straightforward and simple. I'm basically just using straight shapes here and putting them together. Um, to create my hooks. This is that back plate that uh, I designed that will interface with the Scatis board. And I'm basically just adding these shapes onto it so I can create my hooks that will hold up the paper cutter that I will have mounted to the board. But it's definitely something that you're gonna wanna check out. Um, and it's a great place to start. So that's what I'm doing here. So this is what I'm starting to do here. So I've got those hooks for the pegboard there. So this is going to be meant for the digital caliper. So basically I'm just gonna measure out some of the pieces that I want on the board, just measure out some dimensions. I want a close fit, it doesn't need to be tight. I just want it so that I can mount it to the board and not have it slide around or fall out. All right, I've been busy. These are all the different pieces I would like to 3D print and have on my board. I've got different pieces there for the soldering iron, the heat iron, my paper cutter, the multimeter. They're all there in pieces. I will assemble them, I will glue them together, but ready to start printing these up. This is meant for the multimeter. I'm not doing anything too complex here. I'm just adding these shapes together. It's pretty crude, but it does the job. When it's on the board, it's gonna sit like this. And then I put these little holders there for the leads. This was an interesting one to try to mount for my soldering iron, the holster for it. So I came up with this. Again, these are all really just simple pieces, but I just wanted something that it would just sit in there lock into place and I could just have it hanging from the board like that. 
This is for the heating iron for my uh, threaded inserts. Simple holster for it like that. Added these little uh, spindles here so I could just wrap the power cord into it like that. Not too bad. I did something similar for the solder sucker as well as my soldering iron. Similar idea. Finally, these two pieces. So this is just a simple container I got from the dollar store. And I didn't really have any idea what I was gonna do with it. I thought I'd use it to organize some stuff earlier on, but never made use of it. So I'm gonna repurpose it. I created two little hooks there that will then allow this to be used as a shelf. Even the lid, I'm gonna just have it as a simple clear shelf like that. That'll just hang over like that. Connect on to the board. Look at that. Again, not too complex, pretty straightforward, right? Because once I had those hooks, I could basically do anything I wanted. So let's take a look. All right, there it is. Really happy with this. To be able to make these pieces that are custom fit to the equipment that you want to attach to your pegboard is just awesome. Love it. The power of 3D printing. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I am by no means an expert, but I'm learning as I go. And if you are thinking about doing this, buying a 3D printer, getting started with some projects, there are a lot of resources. There are a lot of supports out there and there's a lot of great ideas. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna to try to put these videos up every once in a while, along with some other videos about tech. But right now, this has really captured my attention and I hope you enjoy the video.